Okay, so let's look to what is a linked list using the C++ language. So basically what is a um, linked list is just imagine this as being an element. So let's say hex would represent a linked list. Um, and linked list is basically a combination of nodes that we'll call hen, one, and two, and three. So the way linked lists are built is basically, let's imagine the computer memory of a computer. So it has a big rectangle there. Normally, if you want to store, let's say, something that is big like this, so you would just allow... Um, memories inside of the computer to be you would allocate the value of what you want to fit there inside the memories but what about if this old place right right here or what you want to allow memory for is too big and you cannot fit it inside of one place so you would need to break this value here inside a bunch of different little memory spot so there's the best use case to use a linked list so let's define a use case where you want to fix and you want to put x inside of memories but you cannot put it in with these kinds of memories allocation so you would not be able to just put the value of, of x inside of the same place so you would need to do something that is called linked list so you would put a little bit of hex one inside of a certain points in memories let's say this is a points in memories then you would put the x2 which refers to another points in memories and another little bit of parts of hex and you would put hex3 and same thing so inside of your computers let's imagine this as being little chunks of memories being break all around your RAM, all, the, all around your memory allocations, but not being ones between each other. So instead of like being hex is equal to a big stack of memories, you would have hex being a little bit of memories, which is hex1, then referring to hex2, which is another bit of memories, and so on and so on. This is the